The Labrador Retriever has been ranked the number one most popular dog breed by the American Kennel Club every year since 1991. Their popularity is not expected to decline anytime soon. With their sweet faces and engaging personalities, it's no wonder these are such beloved dogs. The breed's history can be traced back to Newfoundland, where they were used for duck hunting and served as beloved companions for fishermen. In today's video, you will learn the pros and cons of a Labrador. Before we go on, don't forget to like and share if you enjoy our content. Please hit the subscribe button to get notified when we post more pet-related content. Liking and sharing our content helps massively with the growth of our channel. So it's very much appreciated. The pros of having a Labrador. 1. Great temperament. Labradors have wonderful temperaments which makes them an ideal pet. They are friendly and eager dogs who can adapt to a variety of situations easily. They are trainable and teachable and can learn basic commands, as well as advanced obedience or tricks. This makes them suitable to work as therapy or service dogs. 2. Good with children. One of the many reasons why the Labrador Retriever has remained so consistently popular is that they are good with children. Whether you are getting a first family pet and have young children or toddlers, or you are bringing in a dog to help teach older kids responsibility. The Labrador is an ideal companion for kids of all ages. As we always remind pet parents it is important to never leave dogs and young children alone unattended. And you should always teach children to respect pups and their personal space. 3. Healthy. They are generally healthy dogs but there are a few health conditions that are hereditary. Like other large-chested dogs, Labradors can be prone to a condition called bloat. If your dog does bloat or you are concerned about the possibility, you can chat with your vet about proactive surgery to help reduce the risk. This option is not appropriate for all dogs, so your vet will be able to help you understand if it's right for your pup. The cons of having a Labrador. 1. Need plenty of space. Labrador retrievers are large breed dogs. If you live in an apartment with a weight limit for dogs, there is a fairly good chance that a lab will be over that limit. These dogs also need room to run and play. This could be in the form of a fenced-in yard. But if you don't have one make sure you have access to a dog park. Trails are somewhere safe for your pup to get some movement in. 2. High-energy dogs. They need plenty of exercise but it can come in a variety of forms. Fetch in the backyard, hunting, hiking, swimming or competitive sports like dock diving and agility are all appropriate options to consider. All of this is to say that these pups aren't going to thrive in a sedentary environment. If you're more Netflix and chill than get up and go, this might not be the right breed for you. 3. They shed a lot. Because of their double coats, labs can do some serious shedding. While the worst of it tends to happen seasonally in the spring and fall. They do shed all the time. If you value a tidy dog hair free house or someone in your home has allergies, this might not be the right breed for you. When you add a Labrador to the family, make sure to invest in some heavy duty Swiffer pads or a vacuum made specifically for pet hair. The number of euthanized animals could be reduced dramatically. If more people adopted pets instead of buying them, when you adopt, you save a loving animal by making them part of your family and open up shelter space for another animal who might desperately need it and get a new best friend out of the deal. Seriously, what could be better than that?